Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome back to The Real Horror Show. I'm your host, Samantha, and I'm joined, as always, by the Stormy Skies. Hello, listeners. Um, this is our first mini show where we are trying to make the Stormy Skies into a weeaboo. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> one of the people you probably encountered at Hot Topic who take oh. anime way too seriously and interpret all Japanese culture as <laughs> it is presented in anime. <laughs> Ah, is that like, is that, is calling someone that like, almost like calling them like a nerd, like an yeah. anime nerd? Oh, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there are plenty of those that pops up, let me tell you. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we're finally done with the Vampire Diaries universe right now. We wow. still have legacies, but we'll get to that after the strike and after we take yeah. a little, little break. A little breaky-poo from, from that. The yeah. Sins. Yes, I know, right? It's like, God, I've had, a, I've had enough of them for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. But three episodes in, the first, like, five to ten episodes, I can't really remember. It's been a handful of yeah. years since I watched Death Note, is a lot of exposition. Yeah. Setting up the world. Yes, yeah. And one thing I've noticed about Death Note in this rewatch that I've only noticed now that I'm connected through TikTok and listening to more diverse voices is yeah. it does kind of represent like the traditional Japanese household very well oh yeah okay because the mom is very much in the homemaker role which is very is still very very common in Japan they still uphold that traditional nuclear family mm-hmm. more so than the rest of the world but so yeah. the wife is the mother the homemaker stays at home but she manages the household finances, so yeah, it all works out. <laughs> and the father is the one that works all day. Yeah. And then there's the sister and the brother. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so, so far, um, the first episode, I want to say, um, I wasn't sure if um, it was going to like get more exciting and engaging for me. But now that I'm on episode three, um, it's really picked up the pace. So mm-hmm. it is pretty, um, pretty fun to watch. And um, the story is really interesting as it unfolds because I really never know what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really interesting. I really um, like, so his name is Light. Yes. That's an interesting name. Um but yeah, I like his character. I also like the fact that the antagonist air quotes is L. Mm -hmm. which is like the same letter for light i don't know if that has any connection some in your face connection with the letter l but uh but no i find i find uh the banter funny but i find the um the character interesting because now he's obsessed with like (laughs) killing people Uh, i think a good way to describe light is he's very much a ted bundy type but he's trying very hard to justify being a serial killer because that's ultimately what he is but he's like no i'm killing bad people and fixing the world right he is yeah but i also like sometimes feel a little bad for all these people just dying that are in jail because they're in jail to like rehabilitate so they're Mm -hmm. just trying to get better i hope um but he's like i'm gonna kill all the bad people and i'm like oh my god that's crazy that he killed like so many people in like a week that's so wild, but yeah, and it keeps going. But I, I think that he's interesting because he's just a high school student, but he's very clever um, and smart. And mm-hmm. I just pretend that he is uh, like Leon Kennedy because he kind of mm-hmm. looks like him. And it yeah, kind of makes it a little bit more palatable for me. <laughs> when you brought yeah. that up, I had to look up to did see I? if one of the Leon voice actors did Light Yagami in English. No, but damn, um, but that that happens a lot. There's a lot of voice yeah. actor crossovers in anime and video games because they all exist in the same world. Right, and um, Resident Evil. That's um, uh, Capcom. Yeah, which is a Japanese company, right? Yes, Capcom is Japanese. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like he has like the same hair and he's tall and thin. I mean, Leon's not that thin, but I'm just like I just pretend it's him. Yeah. <laughs> and I and pretend that the guy, the other guy that holds up the L laptop with the trench coat is Wesker. <laughs> and, and it's interesting that you brought up that it is a slow start because Death yeah. Note 
the anime and the manga exist in this kind of changing period of shonen. So this this is what we call a shonen um, okay. anime slash manga because it was more so directed towards a young male audience, whereas shoujo oh. is directed towards a female audience. So oh. with shonen, you have Death Note, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, oh. all the like big action-y animes yeah. that are very episodic and have a lot of action in each episode and not a there's some oh, like big arcs like yeah. in Dragon Ball Z but a lot of it is just kind of villain of the week mm-hmm. and in 2006 that style was shifting away and that's why you get anime series that end up being like 300 episodes because there's more filler episodes that they produce mm-hmm. while they wait for more issues of the comic to come out because these were oh, originally yeah. pum- published on a monthly basis Okay. And that's also why you get a lot of exposition reminding you what happened in the last episode, early yeah. in the episode. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's just a holdover from kind of that older model that I don't mm-hmm. really, the only anime David and I are watching right now is um, Attack on Titan, which is finally ending in the next few months. Yeah. But they, they don't really do that anymore mm-hmm. because more things are written with streaming in mind. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense with streaming in mind. Yeah, that's a whole... Yeah, I feel like a lot of things are changing format because of that. You know? mm-hmm. um, and like binging, the ability to binge instead of having to wait mm-hmm. a week or whatever, if it was on network TV. Um, but yeah, so I am so far liking it. I think... Um, that's good. That... All, all of my weeaboo friends agreed that I gave you an easy anime mm-hmm. to start with. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I just, I, uh, yeah, I really do like, I can't, I can't really find anything that I, I, like, dislike because I'm trying to, like, enjoy every aspect, and I mm-hmm. do find that, like, sometimes there's, like, different cultural, um, like, con- like, p- parts of conversation that are interesting to compare, mm-hmm. uh, since they're in Japan, yeah. and then also, so that, that's actually something yeah. that's going to come up for you in the next couple of episodes is, yeah names in japan are not often but sometimes spelled with a symbol that is typically used to mean something else so light's name is spelled with the kanji that means shining but he's called light is light like a traditional japanese name no it's a a main character name (laughs) i see i was like light wow that's cool (laughs) yeah but his sister is samara which is is it Samara? I think it's Samara. She's something like that. That's a traditional Japanese name. Um, Which speaking of Samara, um, because my computer keyboard is not working and I can't see new releases on Shudder right now. um, We're going to watch The Ring for our next movie. Oh, The Ring. I'm specifically calling it The Ring because it's not under Ringu on Shudder. It's under Ring. I was really confused when I looked it up yesterday and Ringo didn't, Ringu did not bring up any results but the ring did so Mm -hmm. that is the 1998 original that i've never watched but i have watched the uh, u.s remake with um naomi watts who was in every u.s horror movie remake yeah so that okay so we're not watching the naomi watts one but we're watching the ring yeah 1998 you said yes oh just ring yes 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 i see it there it is that looks scary okay so (laughs) Just the pictures, yeah. like the Which, thinking back Ooh. on it, mm-hmm. we watch a lot of international horror movies just because that's the nature of this podcast, randomly selecting movies on yeah. Netflix. But I don't yeah. think we've really delved into Japanese horror, which is iconic in the yes. horror yeah. community. Yeah, it is. So I'm glad this strike is allowing us to venture into that. Ooh, I think I think Audition is, or is Audition Korean? No, I think Audition's Japanese. Is it available? I think it, it's been on Shutter. Oh, really? So it might, it might still be on there. And I've wanted to watch Audition my whole life. Me too. I've never seen that. God, that's on Shutter. Well, it's on Tubi at least. Yeah, I see that it's and on. And AMC Plus, which AMC usually Plus. means it's also on Shutter. Shutter. Okay. Tubi. So yeah, okay. It's nice. at least on Tubi. So we'll mm-hmm. soft uh, bookmark audition okay. for our next yes. movie review i think we should <laughs> Damn. Yes, that is a japanese horror movie 
And that's, it's what my chemical romance is. Honey, this mirror isn't big enough for the two of us. Music video is based on. Really? I've never seen that music video. Yeah, it's basically just a recreation of the movie. Well, I'll have so, to watch that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was between Ring or some newer queer coded horror movie. But since my keyboard's not working and I don't have the shutter app, we'll just yeah. hold off on that. Okay, cool. <laughs> but no. those two sound excellent. I'm glad you're enjoying Death Note and that you got past the opening credits. Anime openings yes. are very intense. <laughs> I can skip it. It looks like I can skip skip it mm-hmm. on the streaming platform that we're not supporting. But um, yes, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. no, I'm having fun. Um, I thought the funniest part so far was whenever I think it was in the first episode. Light's mom came to his room, and I swear it was like ten o'clock at night, and she was like, "Hey, the neighbors brought us." this bushel of apples do you want that do you want some apples right now (laughs) it's like woman it is 10 o'clock at night he's not any apples (laughs) but she he is a gifted boy he is the light of her life that is true the daughter is just there she's just but no she's smart too because she was doing really hard homework problems in her lat in the last episode and she was asking for his help but like She's, I think she's in like an advanced class maybe for her age because they made it seem like he made it seem like he was impressed with her like doing these math problems. Yeah. But not as smart as Light. Light's the smartest one ever. Yeah. So Death Note is essentially (laughs) Ted Bundy gets a magical notebook that lets him kill everybody and it's two people trying to be smarter than each other. That is now what I'm getting with Light and L. Um, But why is Light want to kill just because he found this notebook, has he unlocked something within himself that he didn't realize he was like a murderer? I, I think you know so. I mean? There's like a l- yeah. He's clearly bored in the first episode. Yes, he's bored. Yeah, that's what what draws him and Ryuk together is that they're mm-hmm. both bored, and and let's make a difference. Yeah, I guess it's it's hinted at. Yeah in these early episodes that he wants to follow in his father's footsteps and become a police officer. Mm -hmm. So I think he sees this as a way to bring divine justice to the world and create world peace because he's only like 16 or 17. He's getting ready to apply to colleges. So it's a naive outlook that Mm -hmm. he's the one justified to make these decisions and the rest of the world needs to catch up with him. Yeah. Yeah it's pretty it's pretty intense though he's a pretty interesting character to watch because i'm always engaged with what he's doing because he just like has no remorse Mm -hmm. but also he is really smart it seems like he's got a good plan so far but i'm only on episode three um you're just getting started i'm just getting started and then the other thing i think is funny is that um ryuk's the demon his mouth is like perpetually open all the time yeah (laughs) And, listen, and I'm like, looking, rewatching this post 2017 American yeah. Death Note remake, uh, Ryuk's always been Willem Dafoe coded. Like, I, I, I'm I, seeing that now that you told me that it was Willem Dafoe. Yeah. So I'm just kind of picturing him and even like the voice and the mannerisms. Yeah. And like, I also think it's funny that his eyes like go in different directions. He just looks like ridiculously goofy. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and it's funny that he's just always there in his room because I guess he can't go anywhere. He has to stay with him because he has the book. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, something like that. Okay. He can kind of travel on his own, but he's connected to light. He, gotcha. Because okay. of the book. Because the book, yeah. All right. So the last thing that happened at the end of episode three was that he Reeb was talking to light and he was saying that if light gives up half of his like like years of life then Mm -hmm. he can have like the demon eyes where he can see everyone's name and how many years they have left to live and i don't know what he decided to do because that's the next episode (laughs) we will see (laughs) and if i were him i don't know what i would choose i mean it's a good idea to be able to see everyone's name so he could not be caught but then he would give up half his life and I don't know how much time he has left to live yeah. probably regular lifetime I don't know we'll see yeah but yeah that's, 
That's the challenge. Also, I was pretty surprised that Light's father is like the chief of police. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's supposed to like, be oh a big God. twist. That was well, a big twist in my twist. opinion. I Yeah, that was a big twist in my opinion. I was like, hey, I didn't even know he had a dad because I didn't see him yet. <laughs> he's just yeah. going to work this whole time. <laughs> because he's, he's trying, trying to, to catch Kira, light. the serial killer. Catch, yeah, Kira. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, killer name. Um, yeah, so I think that it's, um, pretty good, pretty good so far. <laughs> good. I can't wait for us to watch the Netflix movie and... Oh, uh, would you think we should just to watch yeah. it? <laughs> when, when the strike's over, of course, but... Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, they kind of miss the point of everything. Damn, and while yeah. I don't know if the anime fully qualifies as horror, I think it's horror adjacent since, well, I mean... It is horror, but we're looking at it through the killer's eyes, so it's not scary. Yeah, yeah, yes. But yes. the Netflix adaptation went full horror with it, or full attempted horror. to, and I it see. lost a lot of the um, underlying messages about what is a god to a non-believer. So, like, Ryuk yeah. is a god, like, actually a god of death, and, like, doesn't give a shit yeah, but for many, this mysterious Kira is becoming a godlike figure. But L doesn't give a shit; he's just a killer. Yes, yes, and L seems to be like—is he like a master hacker or something? It looks like he's in a room by himself with just a computer. <laughs> he is the world's greatest detective. That is very cool. So, um. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Because, yeah, they're definitely, like, they're, like, the same person, but opposites. Yeah. But not but not too opposite. They both want to bring op- justice to the world. Yes, they do. Yes, yes. Um, and it feels like they're op- the, the only opposite is that Light wants to do it by way of just, like, killing all the bad guys. But L is, like, in regards to, like, real justice, like, who mm-hmm. really deserves, you know what I mean? So there's, like, that naivety with light and l doesn't have that because he's older and of course but yeah, yeah. very All it's right. very multi-layered so far only yeah. three episodes in yeah but Not i bad. say that's a wrap we have to go get a birthday present for our friend michael all right um, michael happy birthday <laughs> and I guess next mini show we'll try and get to episode 10, which I don't, yes. I remember big plot points, but I don't remember like these mini arcs that happen. Yes. Yeah. I'm happy to remind you of any little things and then we'll get to the big stuff as it comes. So yeah, I'll definitely watch until 10. And then in, in the meantime, ring or ring. audition ring. Yes. Audition will be our next one. Next one. Okay. Ring. It is not the American version. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right, cool. Have a birthday, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye bye. I love the creepy dog that always follows me.